Hello and welcome to this video where I'm going to be talking about the Pillow Talk Quad from Charlotte Tilbury and I really really like it. I've been wanting it basically as long as I have known about the brand Charlotte Tilbury. Her Pillow Talk line is like probably one of the, it's like the most hyped up thing from her brand. She's really trying to milk it for all it's worth and like to be fair it works for a lot of people it's very beautiful but in particular i am really impressed with the formula of the eyeshadow just how easy it is to use how easy it is to like make a pretty eye look and yes it's 53 dollars is it worth it mm, i'm not sure but let's let's get into how i made this look first okay so so I started by just going in with a big fluffy brush into the enhanced shade which is the like more pinky matte shade and just wiped that pretty much all over my eyelid and kind of used a upward sweeping motion on the outer corner of my eye. Blends out super easily, sets down a pretty nice base. Um, yeah. Then I went in with a smaller, more detailed blending brush into the smoke shade where uh, in this palette it's not very smoky, but it's the deepest shade which is this like warm rosy brown that I think is just super pretty. I think this is my favorite shade um, in the palette and it's pretty unique to my collection. Again, just went in with a slightly smaller blending brush and put this mostly in the outer corner of my eye, but kind of brought it in on the crease, brought it down the lower lash line to um, add some color there, blend it out super easily. Um, I think they worked with each other really well and uh, created a pretty seamless look easily. Uh, so that was super fun. And then I continued and used just like a small dense brush to pick up our prime shade, which is like a soft shimmer with a slightly uh, pink tone to it, maybe peachy pink. And I buffed that into the entire area around my inner corner, brought it in like past my tear duct, but also up towards the... Uh, inner portion of my eyelid and, and then finally went in with my finger on to the pop shade which is uh kind of this like rosy sparkly warm shade it doesn't have much base pigment to it the thing that i noticed most are these like mm, rose goldy uh, shimmery glitter flex it's quite chunky and then it works really well just with the finger and popped on all over and it gives a nice glittery effect that's like still very dainty and ladylike uh, so very fitting of Charlotte Tilbury anyways this whole look came together so easily every time I pick up this palette the look comes together like butter uh you really don't have to think hard you don't have to work hard and it just looks pretty every time aside from this look uh my favorite way to use this palette is using uh this smoke shade along with the prime shade i just really really like this brown i find it very flattering and um, unlike most browns in my collection super easy to work with so i will just go in with like pretty much any shaped brush, blend it all over the lid, and then add some of the prime into like the inner corner, inner portion of my eye, similar to how I did with this look. And I just really like how that looks. Liner, mascara, done. Super pretty, super elegant. Uh, just like add some definition and color to my eyes. Anyways, I honestly, so I'm like, not even that into these kinds of shades anymore. I'm, I'm kind of been gearing more towards cooler, neutral shades, but I feel like this palette has reinvigorated my love for warm shades. This is just so flattering and so easy to work with. It's 
crazy. Like if I were to recommend any like one makeup item to someone who doesn't like putting on makeup, doesn't know how to put on makeup, like and has like no interest in learning but does want to add something like have something so they can like look pretty or like if it just to like have on hand right if they ever want makeup i would recommend this because like you could just slap this on in any combination and i think it would look so pretty like nothing is patchy everything is so easy to work with i think you could honestly use like any one of these shades and it would be like a very subtle dainty look you could use all of these shades and it would never get like too muddy or messy or overwhelming on the eye it's just so nice um yeah i when i was buying this i was super in between getting the pillow talk quad or the exaggerized quad and now that i know how much i like this formula i'm actually like more tempted to get the exaggerized quad so if you guys have any recommendations on like quad colors that you really like let me know because the exaggerized one kind of seems like this but like a little bit more like cooler pink as opposed to like warm peachy pink so very tempting uh, I saw Lauren May Beauty got it recently and it looked so pretty on her so yeah uh, a huge thing that I like about these formulas is that there is no fallout whatsoever they blend seamlessly and um, like you you just can never pick up too much on your brush which is really cool it never like clings to one part everything just buffs out into like a nice even layer and then um obviously these colors aren't like that deep so I, I don't really get that much more depth from this color than like what you can see on my eye but what that kind of results in is something that's hard to mess up and I think that's worth something as well but the fact that it has no fallout uh, is pretty big for me because I am really, really my eyes are really sensitive so like I find if I ever go in with like shadow on a dense brush and try to buff it out on my lower lash line if it's a kind of like flaky powder formula that's prone to even the tiniest bit of fallout it'll like flake itself into my eyeball as I'm blending out on my lower lash line just because it's like really close up in there and then my whole eye turns red and I just kind of like you know I look like uh I have allergies for the rest of the day and that's annoying um but I don't have that problem with this eyeshadow formula which is pretty rare to be honest so very very pleasantly surprised that that worked out for me um yeah I just ever since I got this find myself wanting to use this palette the most and like if I don't have a specific look I'm trying to film or like product I'm trying to use or test out like I'm like mm, let me let me just pop this on because it's so nice and easy and makes me feel pretty after like yeah I just feel like you can't mess it up I okay so going back to the price it's $53 which is a lot. I don't find Charlotte Tilbury packaging to be really up my alley a lot of the times. Like, I don't have that many products from her, but a lot of the ones that I've tried, like her lipstick even, they look very pretty from afar. They look amazing in videos, but then when I feel them in person, they're just like a little lighter, a little bit flimsier than I would expect given it's so expensive. And same goes for this quad. It just feels kind of like small and dinky and plasticky i mean this this in here looks really nice but um the shadow the amount of shadows that you get is not very much so yeah you do have to kind of weigh like what it's really worth for you but this is definitely falls in the category of like um like less is more sort of thing like i could try a bunch of different things from the drugstore or i could just have this one thing that like works really perfectly for me a lot of the times and like that's really nice in a way too 
I don't think that rule like always works because there are a lot of duds in high-end makeup too that I don't think are worth it but like the formulation and the ease of use is definitely worth it at least to me and I would like highly recommend this to anyone who just wants to look nice and doesn't want to have to like fuss with their makeup. Um, I got this for $40 off of Netta Porter and I've consistently noticed that Charlotte Tilbury is like 10 ish dollar cheaper 10 ish dollars cheaper than i find on like her actual retail price on net a porter so i would keep your eye out or some does price matching so yeah really like the charlotte tilbury eyeshadow formula really like how the pillow top quad works out for me kind of tempted to pick up another quad eventually. I bought a little too much eyeshadow recently, but um, this has just been so nice. So yeah, let me know if you have any thoughts. I know that like this palette's been around for a while. There are plenty of tutorials and reviews out there, but you know, it's new and exciting to me, so I wanted to make a video on it. So yeah, sorry I said so, so much. Thank you for watching as always.